So I'd like to give you another example of how to construct the equation of a line, uh, a linear equation, when you are only given two coordinates. But I'm going to do this example a little bit quicker than the previous example, so make sure you have really studied that previous, previous example before you continue with this one. All right? But they give me two coordinates, point C, minus 2, minus 3, and point D, 1, minus 9. And I have to construct the equation of the line that goes through these two coordinates, these two points. Now, I, before I start, I just quickly sketch um, what is going on, y, x, because that just gives me an idea what I'm looking for. C, minus 2, minus 3, uh, minus 2, minus 3, that could be here. Uh, D is 1, minus 9, that's all the way over there. So I'm looking for the equation yeah, that goes, and if I can just uh, turn that a little bit, uh, through oh, these two points, C and D. And why do I sketch it? Because it shows me what already of that equation, that is that the gradient is negative. Yeah, the line's going down, so the gradient is negative. And well, although it's only a sketch, I'm pretty sure that my y-intercept, yeah, where it cuts the y-axis, is also negative. Yeah, but I I'm still have to calculate that. Okay, so let's have a go. I'm going a little bit quicker, like I said before. We write down the general equation, yeah, the gradient intercept form, y equals mx plus c, yeah, where m is the gradient of your line and c is the y-intercept. So we're going to calculate the gradient first. Now, gradient is the difference in the y direction uh, over the difference in the x direction. Yeah? And I used the symbol delta to describe difference. Again, in previous emails I have, uh, or we have actually uh, given proof that this is true. Okay, I'm not going to give the proof again now. So really make sure, do yourself that favor. Make sure you understand the concept of gradient. Yeah, Because otherwise this is abacadabra, and you are going to try to memorize things or learn this by road memorization. Don't do that. You don't have to memorize anything if you understand. Eh? So have a look at my previous videos. All right, sorry about that. Delta Y. So minus 9 minus minus 3. Yeah, and I take care when I'm doing this. I don't go too quick. Um, and I use my intonation of my voice because those two minus signs there, or three actually, all of them, are very important, naturally. What is the difference in the x direction? That is one difference, eh? so minus, and then I go to the next one, minus two. You see, when you're confident, it's almost impossible to make a mistake. Minus nine plus three, yeah, your calculator can help you there, but that is minus six divided by and one minus minus two, that's one plus two, that's three. And minus six divided by three, that is minus two. Hey, I expected a negative gradient. Remember that, that's why I took the sketch. I expected a negative gradient. And from minus two, if I would quickly sketch this, yeah, so how far does he travel horizontally? From minus two to one, so that is two steps and another one, so those are three steps. And how much does he go down from minus three to minus nine? So he's going six down, if you like, minus six. Yeah, he goes minus six up. Yeah, in three steps, six down. So that makes in one step, two down, which is the gradient. Eh? If you go one step to the right, how many steps do you go up? Well, in this case, minus two up. So the gradient minus two, it all makes sense. Yeah, that's just to prove it again. You don't have to do that. You just find the gradient. Okay, now let me continue another piece of paper over here. So I found the gradient, I calculated the gradient. We have the general equation, y equals mx plus c. So y equals now minus 2x plus c. Yeah? So I substitute the gradient, which I calculated in the equation. Uh, uh, it's the coefficient of x. Now all I have to do now is to find the y-intercept. And how do I do that? Well, I have to, I cannot, I cannot rely on my sketch, yeah? uh, it's not accurate. I have to pick one of these two coordinates. Um, let's take this one, yeah, it's one minus nine. Oh, excuse me, 
So point D, which is right here, one minus nine. And I pick one of those coordinates and I substitute it in my equation. Yeah, so I found a gradient first. Now, what is Y? Y is minus nine, if you can read that. Sorry about that. Minus nine equals, and then X is one. So minus two times one plus C. All right, minus nine equals, that is minus two plus C. Yeah, that's a one-step equation. How do I get rid of that minus two? Well, I gotta add two, then it's gone, it's zero. That's only equal if I add two here as well. Minus nine plus two, that is minus seven, and that is C, that's my y-intercept. Final step, don't forget that. Don't get overly excited, like, yes, yes, I've got it, because that's also what you expected there, a negative y-intercept, you remember that? Yeah, we said, oh, it's gonna be a negative gradient, and most likely a negative y-intercept. That's what they're giving me as well. y equals minus two x, and the gradient minus two times x, plus the y-intercept, so plus minus seven, plus minus seven, which is minus seven. y equals minus two x, minus seven, fantastic.